Hello, this is Justin with Reborn Entertainment, and I'm bringing you tutorial number one for the Reborn Crosswords. This is just going to show you general navigation and how to complete a puzzle. This is our main menu, and you can play a crossword, you can create your own, or you can play your own. I'm going to choose the play crossword. Now a list of different companies and organizations that we're teaming up with uh, pop up here and you can choose one of those. It will show a list of all the crosswords for that company. Go ahead and choose the first one on this list. This builds a crossword puzzle and builds your list. And You can drag this list around, you can size it by dragging this bottom right corner. You can minimize it or restore it. And just drag it wherever you want to get out of the way. Now, if you select a definition, it automatically selects it on your crossword puzzle, or if you select a box, it automatically selects the definition up here, too. If you select the middle, if you mul click multiple times, you'll see that the selection changes directions. And if I click here and just start typing, it will automatically move the selected box to the next position. I'll fill in this one, and then I'll fill in an incorrect one here. Now if I hit the check mark to see how I'm doing so far, it will show that I have 39% of the puzzle complete, and that I only have 78% of it correct. So if I want to see what part is incorrect, I can click on the Options button, click on Show Hint, and it will highlight the boxes that are incorrect. So I'll do that one more time. So it highlighted D and G as incorrect. So I'll go ahead and switch those back to being correct. If you go to the options, there are uh, a lot of other choices here. You can do instructions, uh, show answers, start over, and uh, you can share this puzzle using Facebook or Twitter, or you can even embed it in your own website. Now if you are running this on a mobile device, it will look more like this. You'll have uh, the list dock down here, you can't move it. You'll have a keyboard. Um, if I go ahead and select here and click the keyboard, this little keyboard pops up and I can click it like that. And if I want to go back and make a fix or maybe delete a letter, I can use this to go back and forth. And I can click the, click this empty spot here to delete a letter. <clears throat> it, uh, this keyboard also will show you the definition you're currently on. So if I click on this, it will change it to there. This, transgression, I'll go ahead and type in sin. Close this keyboard, and there's also a second option for keyboard. So let's say I just want to add one letter. If you click and hold down on this keyboard and then drag your mouse out or drag your finger out, the second option for keyboard will pop up and you can let go on the letter that you want and it will put it in there. I find that this keyboard is a lot faster if I just want to add a quick letter somewhere. So I will go ahead and complete this puzzle. Uh, one thing to note on this is if you if you're working on the puzzle and you need to leave this page or close down your your mobile device you can go ahead and just close it and it will automatically save your progress so when you come back it will ask you would you like to work on the last puzzle you worked on so I'll go ahead and just show you an example of what that looks like um, if you want to continue working on it, you hit OK or if you wanted to start from scratch, hit cancel. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see that it will repopulate where I left off. Um, now I'm just going to check my answer, see how I did. And it looks like it took me 5 minutes and 14 seconds to complete it. 
When I'm all done, you can hit the close button and go back to the main menu.